Looks simple, doesn't it? To become a perfect sleight of hand artist is possible. You can get close, and it takes years. My favorite sleight of hand artist of all time was Cardini. He invented a lot of the techniques that magicians use today, but it wasn't just that. It was the context. He had a character and he had a plot. He was a tipsy gentleman, English gentleman coming home from a, a society affair, and the cards that would appear in his fingers appeared by themselves. He wasn't controlling them. And then another one would appear and he would get more confused and throw it away, and it was as if he was hallucinating the whole performance and that the magic was happening around him and that's a story of our lives magic is happening around us all the time and he was the essence of a man in a magical world Welsh magician named Richard Valentine Pitchford, performing as Cardini, elevated card magic to an art form. His dexterity was so great he could even manipulate cards while wearing gloves. Most performers today who include card magic in their act owe a debt to Cardini. The manipulations and palming techniques that he invented are the basis of many modern routines. <laughs> Cardini was a true master of all kinds of sleight of hand. Few modern performers can match his skill with a billiard ball. 